The Mason Minute with Kevin Mason. Can anyone explain why we're all so attracted to anything online that says, here's the best of or here's the worst of? I'm guilty of it too. The other day I found myself reading an article and I don't know why I did. I clicked on an article that was telling me the worst oatmeals you could eat. I guess I had to click on it to see if my basic Quaker oats, the kind I've been eating for, okay, 50 plus years, pretty much the only kind of oatmeal I eat, if it was on the list. Well, you know, it wasn't. It was all those prepackaged, the instant oatmeals, the ones that have stuff in it, like the maple syrup and the brown sugar and the cinnamon and all the fake preservatives that are bad for you. Again, I'm just talking oatmeal. So, of course, there are other things. What's the worst cars ever made? What's the best cars ever made? Just stupid stuff I found myself reading when I have time online. I fall into the trap, and I know a lot of other people do too, because I see them posted on their Facebook page of all these best of and worst of lists. There's something that we're attracted to in being the best and the worst, and in all honesty, I don't quite know why.